and writes for the Mail on Sunday. Safras Manzoor is an author and broadcaster whose latest book is all about growing up in the 80s as a British Muslim and a Bruce Springsteen fan. And GP Taylor is a former parish priest in North Yorkshire and now a best-selling children's writer. Uh, good morning to good morning. Hi. Bruce Springsteen. You can't say that with a straight face. You, you, I can't. I, I've tried on a number of occasions now. I'm just surprised you've o owned up to it uh, openly. He wrote the introduction himself, by the way. Uh, right, uh, GP Taylor, the, this is for couples who have already agreed yep. to divorce. They've been through the two years of separation. What's the problem in just speeding up the paperwork, speeding up the legal side? Well, first of all, you've got to be careful. £65, yes, it looks great, but once you start reading the small print, there's another £400 hiding in the background there, so it's not as cheap as they're making out. Also, I've got a great concern for women who are going through a divorce and children, and I think this could lean to men putting pressure on their wives to say, let's have a not contested divorce, let's sort it out ourselves, let's not involve the lawyers, and the women losing out, and also the children losing out, because when you look at these websites, all it says to the children to do is fill in this piece of paper and let your parents know exactly what you feel about the divorce. You're going to have kids writing, don't divorce mum and dad, stay together, and it's the welfare of the children, and especially women, that I think this will actually put pressure on. I'm not sure about this point about women. Surely, you know, surely strong women are going to, in that two-year period of separation, say, no, I don't like this agreement, we're not going to go through with it. I, I disagree. I think some women will actually think, well, well, you know, for the sake of the children, I'll go with what he says, you don't know what's going to happen. I was a former policeman prior to being a priest and I was involved in matrimonial disputes and you saw the pressure that men could put on women. Strong, supposedly strong women were being pressurised by their husbands into doing things that they did not want to do and kowtowing to their demands and I don't want to see this Nina, this is described as the, the end of the story, not the start of the story. Well, the, 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 the point being that, you know, they said there's a stress-free divorce. There is no such thing as, mm. as a stress-free divorce or, or a breakdown of any relationship. And, uh, and it's making it seem just, just so simple. Life is not simple. There's always one couple, one, one person in, in a relationship who's, who, who wants to stay and the one who wants to leave. There's always heartbreak. There's always d disaster. There's always emotional distress. And then we haven't discussed the whole aspect of the children thing. You, you can't... But, but these, are, these are particular problems with divorce rather than divorce online. Yes, but there's making it simpler. And if, if, you, if you go into something thinking that you can go out of it very quickly and very easily, you're not going to think as deeply about getting married in the first place. And I really worry about that. And the, as I say, the whole point that if, 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 if people get married and then have children and then get divorced that, 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 that quickly, it's going to, you know, lead to ever more fatherless, mm. motherless children. Yeah, exactly. and, the, and the point being that just because divorce is very prevalent nowadays and, you know, there are the, the, the statistics of 50% say come from a one parent family these days or, 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 or a different family, that, that, that child does not feel pain. Every child who is, who is a product of a broken marriage feels pain and carries that pain into their life. And we have, we have, we're a nation yeah. of damaged children and people. Uh, Sephiroth, exactly. the, the point that allowing this to be done online, allowing this paperwork to be done online, makes divorce more convenient. I sort of feel like I'm watching an archive program from the 1950s. I mean, the sense, oh. that, <laughs> the sense, that, um, the, the sense that marriage is a sacred institution in the same week that Preston and Chantel break up, I think is, you know, I mean, it's kind of lost its magic in some ways. And the fact of the matter is that it's obviously not going to be right for everybody. I mean, if you've got complications, if, the, if you've got second thought, the idea of an online quickie divorce is not a good idea. But as a way of shortening and, sp and speeding up the pain to move on with the rest of your life, if people can meet somebody online, why can't they get divorced online? But, but, yes, but so fact, it doesn't shorten the pain. I was a parish priest and I saw people have been divorced many years beforehand, still going through the turmoil and the pain of that divorce. You know, it, it's a lifelong thing. But the two of you but, are making it sound like a night in Reno, that you could go and be divorced and that's it by, the, by sunrise. This isn't that at all. You still have to go through the legal process. But yes, the yes, yes, but, yes, but it, it, the fact that, that it, it is so clinical, the mm. fact that there, there is nobody saying to you uh, and there's no discussion, the fact you can just do it sure at a click of a button. But absolutely, but doesn't that mean that the people who are doing that have reached a certain stage in their relationship where they have One person that has. One person has, but I really, really 
defy anybody to tell me that, that when, when, a, when a couple divorce, I don't, both people are happy to separate. Do you know what my separate. worry is? I, I, sus I suspect that you're sort of thinking that this is a bit like one of those computer programs where you press delete and say, are you sure you want to delete this marriage? I'm sure it's not quite like that. It's, it's pretty well through. like that. I it's went pretty online, well like that. and Nina's right, I went online, had a look, and it is so easy. I nearly ended up divorced. I've been married for 24 <laughs> years, and in five seconds, I thought, good grief, I could be divorced but any yeah, minute. The only advantage, I think, is if Tesco was... Con I mean, how many points would you get for this from Tesco? I mean, that, well, that could be an advantage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tesco well, Club card, lo lo brilliant. Loyalty points the for clearing up lifetime vice. <laughs> there's, yes. there's a book out at the moment by a guy called Dr. Mark Stibby about fatherhood. If you're thinking about divorce, get that book, read it, and that will set the whole thing in context about fatherhood in this country. You're making a point about whether divorce is a good thing as opposed to marriage, and obviously most people would agree that marriages, when they're successful, are. But the idea that somehow making something available where people are going to be divorced anyway is necessarily a bad thing. I think you're making a slightly different point. You're saying that people should, on the whole, try and work through their marriages. Mm. But yes. if they've reached the point where that is no longer a viable option. What's wrong with giving them the option of divorcing online? All right, that's going to be the last word from you three. Thank the three of you very much. It's not the last word from you, though, because we still want to hear 